Hi guys, my name's Adam. I'm a student recruitment officer here at Stockton Riverside College. I'm here today to welcome you to your careers and childcare event brought to you virtually this year. Normally we'd have you in the college, um, but unfortunately, due to current restrictions, we're bringing it to, to you differently. Um, so throughout the course of the event, you'll be able to hear from our amazing course leaders and they'll tell you a little bit about things like work placements, the careers you can go into, um, apprenticeships, entry requirements and the courses that we offer here. After that, you'll hear from some amazing professionals from industry, so there'll be a range of different professionals from the childcare industry. So please do take the opportunity to take them in. If you've got any questions throughout the event, note them down and then just pass them on to your teacher or careers advisor within the school and they'll forward the questions to me. After the event, if you want any more information, just pop onto our website www.stockton.ac.uk and you can find all of the course information there. If you want to come for a tour of the college, you'll be able to book on to a one-to-one -one tour with myself um, as well as other stuff like information on our open events, um, other events and stuff that we've got going on. You can also follow us on social media, so if you just go on Instagram and look for Stockton Riverside College, we post information on there as well about events and stuff. I really do hope you enjoy the event and get something out of it. Um, so enjoy it and we'll see you all soon, hopefully. Hi there, I'm Kelly and I'm the Programme Area Leader for Childcare and Education at Stockton Riverside College. Um, we offer a range of courses for school leavers. Um, we start at level one and we progress right the way through to level three. Um, and then following that, you can even do a degree with us. Um, the level one programme is an introduction to childcare and it gives you an overview of all the different areas of childcare that you, you would need to know about regardless of what profession you wanted to go into. Um, the students that go into the level one programme are usually the students that have um, achieved some lower grades at GCSE. Um, but what we like to think of in our college is that we're inclusive and there's a course for everybody. So if you're interested in working with children, come and see us and we can get you sorted on a course. Um, the level two and three courses are courses that are professional qualifications, so they give you a license to practice. That means that at the end of the qualification, um, you can then apply for jobs in that area. So because it's got a license to practice, it's made up of part college-based study and part placements-based study. Um, so for both the level two and the level three, you will do two days a week in a placement. We organise the placements for you, but we do try to get them near to where you live. You will do placements in both day nurseries and in schools. And the reason you do both is so that you get a full idea of how children develop and how they learn. Um, to get onto the level three course, um, it is quite challenging. You do need five GCSEs above grade four. Um, you do also need to have maths and English um, and the reason for that is because by the time you start the course we have moved on to what's called a T level. So that means it's a technical level certificate which carries a lot of weight within the industry um, so employers are really going to look for those T level qualifications in the future and it means that you have proven yourself to be able to work at an industrial standard. Um, within the modules, so each course is divided up into modules um, or subjects. So a bit like when you're at school and you do different subjects, you do different modules while you're at college. You usually do two or three modules at the same time and most modules have an assignment at the end. Um, but don't worry about assignments, we do work in class that leads towards that final assignment. And there's lots of help with, available within our college um, to support you with writing those. Our level three students also do an exam. Now the exam, we, we call it a, a controlled assessment because it's not like the exams you do at school. What happens is you are given an assignment on a Monday morning and you have that week to complete the assignment in college and you're allowed to access books, you're allowed to access the internet, but you have to write the assignment within college in exam conditions. So it's not a scary exam like, like some of the exams you have to do at school um, and 
there's resources available to help you write that. The placements our students go on are the bits that our students love. They, they've come back from placements and they've, they've, done, they've been involved in exciting projects with the, with the children in the schools and in the day nurseries. Um, they have a lot of fun, the children make them laugh and that's the bit that we really want you to have those skills on. So for that, what we're looking for is building how we build your confidence, how we get you to find a voice and be able to talk to different people. Um, but the biggest thing is that you are reliable because the children will know that you're going in every Tuesday and Wednesday and they look forward to seeing you. So if you're, you're not a reliable person, you let them down, that'll let the children down. So that's one of the big things we look for. Um, following the courses, um, there's a variety of professions you can go into. So most of our students do go into working in day nurseries or as teaching assistants um, or working in schools in a different role. However, a lot of our students also want to go to university to become teachers um, or social workers, paediatric nurses. But we have had a few students in the past who have done something a little bit different. So if you're thinking, I'd like to be a children's rep um, in Ibiza, you know, if you want to go and work for Thomas Cook or Jack Two or something like that as a children's rep, you would need a level three childcare qualification. Um, a couple of our students in the last couple of years have also uh, become nannies, so they've gone off to America to work as a nanny, so they go and live in a, with a family and look after the children within that family. Um, and we've had other people that go on to do things like play therapy or speech therapy, so there's a, a variety of careers that you can go into. Um, with our department, we also offer apprenticeships. Now, a lot of people apply to the college for an apprenticeship in childcare, and I'll be honest that that is a smaller part of our department in that there are not many apprenticeships available in childcare for 16-year-olds. Um, so what a lot of our students do is they come and do one year at college and their placement will offer them a, an apprenticeship at the end of that year. So that's how they get into an apprenticeship. Well, what we suggest you do, if that's something you'd be interested in, is apply to the college, come along and meet our team and we'll talk you through your options. And what we do is we help you find the apprenticeship and if that doesn't work out, we have a plan B to help you get the career that you want to do. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to let your careers officer know and they'll pass them on to the college. Um, or if you want to contact us directly, look on our website for open events um, and please come and meet the team and we'll be happy to help. I'm Stacey, I'm a level 3 TA in a primary school. Um, a TA is responsible for many things. Um, we're responsible for getting organised with learning resources, helping with planning and also helping with teaching as well. Um, and that's probably what I love the most about it, being hands on with the children, helping teach. Hi, I'm Vicky, I'm a level 3 TA. Um, I think the main part of our job is supporting the teachers. There's a lot of classroom based things we get given groups to work with. Um, I think my favourite part of being a TA is working in that team and having an end result at the end. Hi, I'm Danielle and I'm a level three teaching assistant, but I'm now currently doing my final year of my degree and I work in year three in a primary school. And my favourite part of the job is just getting to see the children progress and making memories with them every day. Hi, I'm Nicole, I'm a senior player worker. And the thing I love about my job is getting to see the children learn through the play and the activities that we set up for them. Hi, I'm Rowena. I'm a Level 3 teaching assistant in a primary school in the nursery. My favourite part of the job is getting the wow moments when the children finally get something that you've been teaching them. I'm Stephen. Uh, I work in uh, Level 3 TA and I work currently in Year 6. Uh, the best part about my job is each day brings new challenges, new things, and the children just keep you on your toes all the time and make you just enjoy your job, I suppose. Hi, I'm Emma. Um, I'm a level three TA. Um, I work very closely with a teacher, um, and m most of my jobs are working one-to-one -one with children, a group work with children, um, supporting their needs, um, and my favorite part of the job is seeing a difference 